Hi, this is JP Morgan. Today on the Slanted Lens, we're gonna do a little high-speed photography today using a new trigger called MyOps. I wanna shoot this light bulb. We're gonna shoot a BB through it, fire in the hole. The MyOps trigger will trigger with light, with sound, with laser. You know, you can do lightning, you can do, if I clap my hands. I've got it set very sensitive so that any noise is gonna set my trigger off. So let's talk about this setup here. I've got a BB gun on two C stands. The reason I've got it on two C stands is I want it aimed and accurate. It's not gonna go anywhere. I can shoot one after another. I'm not gonna miss. I've got a backstop here, which is just an old box. I took all the styrofoam from the uh, different strobe heads and things I'd gotten over the years and stuffed it full of styrofoam, that hard styrofoam. So the BB goes inside the box, rattles around in there in the foam and doesn't go out the back. Oh, well, most of the time it doesn't go out the back. I just have a piece of dubatine that I've kind of stretched behind just to make it really black. I took a piece of foam core and just spray painted it glossy black. I drilled a hole in a board and then I dropped the cord from, the, uh, from our ceramic uh, light bulb holder through the hole. Set that up, shot a screw into it so that all stays together. Now let's think about exposure. These lights that we have on around us, don't get confused by those. We have a soft box back here, we've got a rim light, we've got lights on the background. That's just so you can see us working in here. It is not affecting our exposure at all because we're at 200th of a second at f8. So there's my light bulb. You see a couple little teeny little uh, blips on the bulb, but really nothing of any, any consequence. We can live with that, we'll retouch it out. So I'm gonna turn on my light bulb. Light bulb, I'm looking straight at the uh, light source. I'm looking right at the element. So it's very bright. So 200 F8 does not surprise me. So now I need to do something to give my light bulb a little bit of life. So basically I set this thing up like you would set up lighting a nice piece of glass. I've got a light bulb there. I just put a nice piece of diffusion behind it. One head on each side at a fairly low uh, power because you don't need a lot of light in this piece of diffusion. You just want a nice rim to go all around your light bulb. The lower you get it to the ground and the higher you get it on the top, the better it is. I mean, if I swept this thing way over, it'll just extend that highlight over the top of the light bulb. It just becomes larger and larger. So it's really pretty. Right now we just got it in the back, so it's gonna give us a nice rim. In the back, I've got grids. A grid on each side, I have a 10 and a 20. I just want to fill up this area right around the light bulb. I don't want it to blow light everywhere. I don't want it to bounce back into my black background. And there's a frame with our strobes going off. So that's really nice. I've got some highlights now on the light bulb all the way around. I've got some highlights on that little ceramic uh, kind of holder for the light bulb, a little reflection in the foreground of the light bulb. I've got a pocket wizard hooked to the strobe sink on the camera. So that's going to fire my strobes every time the camera is fired. I then have the MyOps trigger connected to the camera. So the MyOps trigger is going to fire the camera and at the same time the camera will fire the strobe. So I've got my sensitivity set on 70, which is very high, which means any little click is gonna send it off. It's gonna be very sensitive. Delay, I put the delay on zero. I had it on one and two in some tests and it was a little too slow. It sound is very slow. I mean, even though it's like six eight, uh, feet here compared to the speed of the BB, Sounds a little slower. So I put it on no delay and that seems to be working great. I'm getting it as it explodes through the, the light bulb. So the first thing we're gonna do is shoot some background plates because I want this black, pristine. I wanna have a plate of that so that I have that to be able to Photoshop it in if I need it. So let's shoot a couple of background plates. Okay, we're good. Got a couple of those in the can, moving on. I think we're in pretty good shape. I think we're ready to shoot a BB through the light bulb. Let's see what we got. You know, it's interesting, all this process is pretty, I don't want to call it scientific, but it all affects each other. I guess it is scientific, that's the bottom line. So when I had two pumps on the BB gun, the BB was moving much faster and it was just exploding that light bulb. So we'll do some of those just to look at them. When I went to one pump, BB's moving much slower and the light bulb kind of just breaks apart so it's not as large. So there's different looks there. So we'll take a look at both those and see what we think. Here we go. Got that little piece of glass bouncing up. So I hit it up in the top of the light bulb. That piece of glass popped up. A couple coming off our side. Didn't really explode like I'd like it to. So I think on this next one, I'm gonna get down a little lower, try to hit the middle of the light bulb, see if we can just make the whole thing explode. 
And here we go. All right, so this time I'm gonna hit this thing right in the element here. I'm gonna try to hit it down low in there and see what that does. Okay, you ready? So that was low and that really just exploded the light bulb. Just a little bit of trial and error on this kind of stuff. But now I can't get stinking that thing out of there. there we go. I think I'm gonna do a double pump through the middle and just uh, see if that explodes the bulb a little more. Double pump, it's gonna move faster, which means it's gonna be the equivalent of a delay on some ways, because it's gonna go, the velocity of the BB is going faster. It's gonna go through the light bulb quicker, which means our sound is not gonna be quite as quick to pick it up, which means we'll be seeing the light bulb just after it exploded. But it's gonna explode more, I think, with the double pump. We'll see. Okay, here we go. And... Yeah, that is sweet. The light bulbs popped in the air. We got a little bit of flame going on in there and the smoke. There's still a flame. It's like the uh, filament is still burning even though it's falling in the air. Very cool. Massive destruction of light bulbs. Always cool. All right, so I'm now going to put a delay on the timer. It's like milliseconds. So two milliseconds, whatever it is. Bazilli, bazilli seconds. Really, really short. I'm gonna put two, put it on two. And I can then do that with one pump with the BB gun, two pumps with the BB gun, then three, and see what each one of those looks like. Ready? Ooh, let's see, interesting to see what this looks like because of the delay. So let's wrap this up. We did a nice simple glass lighting with a little bit of rim light around that whole glass light bulb. We balanced our exposure to the ambient exposure of the light bulb, and then we shot BBs through it. it became experimental at that point. Velocity of the BB, the sensitivity of our MyOps trigger. Just kind of had to play with those combinations. We just kept changing it, different combinations, shooting different light bulbs. We shot a lot of light bulbs, but that's what you have to do when you're gonna do this kind of stuff. So it's a lot of fun. We'll take it into Photoshop and play with it, but I think we've got some great stuff today. I hope you learned something as I did. So keep those cameras rolling, keep on clicking. It's October and it's time for a new giveaway. We're giving away a Baja B6. It's a 600 watt second monoblock. It's battery portable, lithium battery portable. Take it with you anywhere you want to go. So make sure you enter to win at thuslandlens.com or on Facebook. Check it out. The easiest way to improve your lighting is with the reflector. Go to thuslandlens.com slash reflector. You'll see our digital download there. It's an hour and 20 minutes long. It's going to teach you everything you need to know about reflectors. How to use them, how to make them, how to use them by yourself, whether a square or circular. It's going to answer all those questions for you. So go to thuslandlens.com slash reflectors. Check it out. No, don't check it out. Buy it. You'll be glad you did. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Like us on Facebook. Don't make me smash this light bulb. Go to thuslandlens.com. There's great giveaways every month. We also have an excellent member area there. Go to that member area where there's new lessons posted every month. You don't want me to smash this light bulb, do you? I couldn't resist. I had to smash it. But subscribe.